So we got a uh, potential closeout in Boston. Got a swing game in LA as the playoffs continue. Studio J here in Atlanta. TNT NBA tip off is presented by CarMax. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Hey, what's up, Ernest? Chuckster. Yes, sir. Everything good? Uh, everything is good, Pumped man. Pumped up? Yes. Excited? Excited for tonight? I'm really looking forward to game two. Uh, obviously, pivotal you know, game five. Pivotal is an understatement because whoever wins tonight is going to win that series. Oh, okay. That's where you're going? Yep. Okay. Mm. We'll see. I don't know about that. CarMax one on one. Uh, let's talk about game one of our playoff double dip. And here's what happened in game four. Derek White was on one, boys and girls, had 38. Oof. Career high postseason or regular season for him. Uh, Tatum and Brown doing their thing. Chris Stops Porzingis left that game. Got calf issues. Will not be in the uh, on the floor tonight in Boston. Well, the uh, last time the Celtics had a chance to win a series at home, it was last year's Eastern Conference Finals. Didn't go well. Miami stunned the seas by 19. Same two teams tonight in Game 5, but a very different feel to this series. Miami missing Jimmy Butler, Terry Rozier. <laughs> Points have been hard to come by, especially in the last two. The Heat held under 90 in both. So with Boston poised to become the first team in the East to advance, we head to TD Garden. The guy who buys $800 dinners, Chris Haynes, standing by. That's not routine, EJ. But thank you. <laughs> well, anybody. That was an anniversary special. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Let's make that clear, EJ. I want people to have these grand expectations of me when they go out. Now, listen, you know, with Chris Porzingis, obviously he's out with that raft, right calf strain. And I was told that obviously he is out for this series, but I'm told he is un he is likely out for the next series as well. And the expectation or the hope, I should say, is that he can make a return if the Celtics were to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, the Celtics are very ecstatic and happy that this injury wasn't anything more severe and as well as Chris Stapps himself. Um, but right now, they're going to use this time for him to rest and go through rehab. And then around the six or seven day mark, they will reevaluate him to see how he's feeling and then go from there. And so, but the good news is that the Celtics, they got a guy by the name of Al Horford who can step in. And in Horford's last 15 games as a starter for the Celtics, they've won 14 of those games. And I asked Al Horford, you know, what is it about you and the chemistry with this team? He said, we play together for a very long time. He said, so whether I'm coming off the bench or starting, we have continuity and we have rhythm. And also, lastly, he said, he told his um, team before the game that they need to treat tonight's game like it's game seven. That he said, Al Horford said he's been looking at the Cleveland Orlando series as well as all the other series out there and he wants to take care of business so they can get some rest he said their next opponent you know you can't take them lightly so they want to get rest and he said they're going into tonight with a game seven mentality back to you Al Horford 171 playoff games to his credit at the age of 37 so mm -hmm. um, yeah this the Porzingis thing underdog and I were talking I don't know if anybody had heard of, of a soleus until uh, Giannis had it late in the regular season, and it's kept him out. And and now that's what Porzingis has, too. And you still we still haven't seen Giannis back in a back in uniform. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, I never I never even heard that until I saw it on the screen. Not gonna lie, you know they got to be careful. Um, and listen, you know the. These injuries, man, because the last thing you want is somebody to blow out an Achilles and be out all next year. So, but, you know, they still got the, the two guys. So, the main two guys, they better wrap this thing up tonight because the last thing you want is them screwing around, had to go back to Miami. So, you know, Al, kill instinct because that's all I'm going to be watching tonight. Because when you, if you let a team hang around, one guy get hurt, another guy get hurt, but, but they have to address the elephant in the room. Why they are below 500 or right at 500 at home. 13 and 14 last four postseasons. That's no, I, 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 Kenny, what do you think? Um, not sure. Uh, plus they play good teams because they go deep, but they still should have a, a, a much better record at home. For, for me, it's like you, you could win a series without Porzingis, but you can't win a championship. 
because of his size, his athleticism, and his ability to be such a, uh, a mismatch problem for everyone who guards him because he can go outside, he can go inside, and they started posting him up. But more importantly, he's a shot blocker. They have, he's a presence on the defensive end. Added, he and Drew Holiday, the biggest things I think they've added to that team and continue to add is defense. Uh, well, Al Horford is a great offensive player, but at this stage in his career, he's not a shot blocker or someone that's going to be uh, that big of a deterrent defensively. So that's where they're going to miss Porzingis. But Chuck and Shaq, it doesn't matter. Right? If, if it, I mean, it does matter. But if it goes longer, he's still out for next series or he, if he's played. So for Porzingis, it's not really. Yeah, but it, sure, it shortens up the rotation. It helps. Yeah, it, yeah. It's shortening up the rotation. You're going to have Tatum and Brown having to play, play more. And obviously, Al, at his age, you don't want him playing two or three extra games going because whoever they play next series, yeah. whether it's Orlando, they got a bunch of big bodies, yeah. or it's Cleveland, they got a bunch of big bodies. So whoever they play next, they're going to need all hands on deck. You uh, got a big body. Meantime, Derek White, um, breakout game the other night in the playoffs with 38. When you look at their scores now, Tatum leads them with 23, but uh, and Brown's giving you 22. So is Derek White. You know, I think he could uh, definitely fill in for Porzingis. You know, Chuck talks about the big body, but I like to switch to often for a minute. I've always said that Porzingis can give you 20 to 25, they can win a championship. So I would have to disagree a little bit with my good friend Kenny, because if this guy can give you 38, I'm sure he can give you 22. Well, he is giving you 22. But you disagree with Kenny on what? Disagree on uh, Celtics being able to win the championship without Porzingis. This guy can step in points wise for, you know, Porzingis. And, you know, tonight for Boston, it's a game of no excuses. Uh, you know, Chuck said this the other day, and I'm going to say it again tonight. I want to see if they have that killer instinct. They let one slip away in Miami, and everybody talks about this team as, you know, the favor for being a champion. Tonight, you have to put this team. Wouldn't, wouldn't going to Miami and winning show, wouldn't that show killer instinct? Yeah, but. Yeah, like but, the fact that you came back and you're 3 1. Like, no, we didn't, we're not letting it get 2 2. No, no, no. They, I, I agree we with you. Well, first, first of all, I disagree with you. I, I agree with you on the Porzingis thing. They're not yeah. going to win the championship without Porzingis. This is a killer instinct game right here. There's no reason because there's no Jimmy Butler. Did I see that? Uh, Jaime Hawkins is out. Oh, my God. If yep. they, if th this would be the, the ultimate, like, this team though does not have, without Butler and Hawkins, if they lo lose this game. And don't forget Rozier in those points. I, I, I forgot about Rozier. Yeah. Come on, man. If they don't, Shaq, if they don't win this yeah. game, you, I'm on I'm, a, I'm off the bandwagon. They don't win tonight. I'm Boston, not going to lie. And Boston will be trying to do something that's never been done in playoff history. That score 100 points in a game and hold the other guy under 90 in three straight games. That's never happened before. That's never happened. When you score 100 and the other guy scores under 90 in three straight playoff games. I mean, what, so what, they're trying to get that done. And Spo, oof. look, Spo says um, he feels like there is – a big offensive game in there somewhere and he said but he he acknowledges what a challenge this is down 3-1 but says his guys love that is that is that coach speak and trying to keep his guys up or do, do you think Miami believes that this is a series that is not over well they definitely believe they can win you know especially offensively if they have another game like they had in game two of course they can win so Boston's gonna have to try to run them off the line but we know they're gonna play hard we know they're gonna play together you know somebody you know whether it's you know hero you know somebody's gonna have to have a, a really good breakout game but uh, last two games they really haven't shot the ball well from from three but Listen, they're going to play. They're not going to give up. They're not going to quit. And if they're shooting the ball well, if the game is close towards the end, I'm going with Miami. Yeah, I, I think it's just going to take a huge uh, – That's coach's delusion. One of those that, – Yeah, that's, that's – this, that, that, this is one of those – it's going to take a supreme defensive effort uh, from Miami. I mean, this game's got to be low 90s to me for Miami to, it to have a, a chance. It, this probably – they might play the whole game in zone. You know, they play more zone than any team in the NBA. It would not surprise me because they can't get in a run and gun contest. Obviously, it would not surprise me if Miami played over over half the game in a zone. It wouldn't surprise me at all, because that would slow the game down, and 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 maybe them. That's the only way they got. Yeah, a that, to me, that's coach's illusion and the, the fact that Miami does like being in that situation when they have. Rozier, Butler, and Hawkes. They would be like, oh, we're not, a, we're not yeah. afraid of this. Well, like game seven and last we, and, year and in that did. gym. Yeah. But, you know, without those three guys and not being loaded. The Hawkes thing is huge. Yeah. I mean, they've been without Butler 
and Roselle the, the entire series. But the Hawkeyes, he's been playing great. Yes, he has. Um, when we come back, you couldn't ask for a better teammate. We'll be joined by Minnesota's Mike Conley.